Do you have the fear that if you were to really step into your power and really sell yourself and your services that other people will think you're pushy, so you hide? If you have that fear, this episode is for you. Hi there, Rachel Jane Groover here, and you're watching Awaken TV. This is where you get your weekly practice on presence, purpose, and practical spirituality. And today we are exploring the shadow of pushy. Well, if you've been to one of my events or been through one of our programs, you know that I'm a huge believer in shadow work. Shadow is the parts of yourself that you do not want to claim or integrate. At some level, you're saying, I don't want to be that. But as soon as we say, I don't want to be that, it doesn't go away. It usually just hammers and clamors for our attention because we've resisted it for a long time. So I have this practice of what I call my shadow of the month. And I pick a shadow that I'm working with that month to try and integrate that back in my life because every shadow has a higher quality. It has a virtue. And if you don't integrate it, it is like you having your handbrake on. You are trying to go forward, but you've got this handbrake on that is stopping you. So let's take pushy because that is shadow of the month. And I've picked pushy because so many women that I work with and some men fear this big time. I don't want to be seen as pushy. I don't want to be seen as salesy. I can't come into my power because I don't want people to think that I'm that. But what is the virtue of pushy? What are the great aspects of being pushy? What does a pushy person get that you might not be getting? That is your practice for this week. I want you to write down on a piece of paper, why is being pushy a good thing? Why does it serve humanity? And what comes straight to my mind around pushy is pushy is the energy of someone who is committed to what they really want. They're not gonna like let go of what they really want and those people tend to manifest a lot. And this is an important piece of the integration. You are a little pushy. I am a little pushy. We all have this part within us, but if you are going to be a magnetic leader, a good business owner, somebody who sells their services themselves really well, you have to integrate pushy so you're not scared of it but you have that commitment and that edge that makes people want to follow you. So now I want to hear from you. What is the virtue of pushy? Leave a comment. All the interaction happens over at racheljane.com. So head over there now and leave a comment for me. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and please share this with your other friends who are committed to their personal and spiritual growth. And if you want even more awesome resources that will help you awaken your impact, inspire change, and create wealth, plus some updates from me that I only send via email, head over to racheljane.com right now and sign up at the top of the page to get those email updates. Remember, no matter how you're feeling today, whether you're feeling awesome or you're a little down, everything is temporary. So be as present as you can and enjoy each moment as much as you possibly can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week on Awaken TV. Have you got your ticket to Awaken Your Impact? This three-day transformational event is about how to stand out, inspire change and create wealth through a business or in your career. This is not your average event that almost every business coach offers solely focusing on strategies. It's a business and leadership training that has two fundamental intentions, your spiritual awakening and your ability to courageously express yourself. It's September 26 to 28 in the gorgeous Denver area. Go to awakenyourimpact.com to find out the five key areas we're training on and to claim your space today. Time is running out.